Hi, it's Andy Bauer here at Object Arts. Uh, here's my fifth video in the series on uh, exploring Aragon 3D in Dolphin Smalltalk. Um, I've built a slightly more complicated scene here uh, with some Middle Eastern buildings in the background and two animated characters in the foreground. Um, and I'd like to show you some more about the movement and the constraints that apply to the movement. So we can select any of the objects and we can send them to walk to a particular point um, by right clicking. Um, the object, if it understands the method walk, it will walk to that point. So if I right click here, you'll see that the beast actually goes and walks away to that point. Now, the other thing that the objects can do is if I um, send the dwarf, say, to walk over to these steps here, you'll see that his collision detection will stop him walking into the steps. And that's because each of the objects has attached to it a number of constraints. And you'll see that this dwarf here has four constraints. Lock rotation, this is to stop us accidentally tilting him over. Uh, walk on ground, to make sure he tries to uh, walk on the, uh, the ground beneath his feet. Slopes and steps, which allow him to walk up a certain uh, incline. And collision detection. And the one that fired just now was the collision detection. Let's try and make him walk up these steps. So if I bring him round here and then ask him to walk to the top of the steps by clicking here, you'll see that he refuses to do it. Now if we go and take a look at his constraints, and in particular the slopes and steps constraint, expand that, you'll see that he has a max step up value of 1. Well let's increase that, let's say to 10. And let's bring him back again um, and ask him now to walk up the steps again. And you'll see that he can now do it. Okay. So there are other things we can do along these lines. We could create, for example, a new object, a uh, pseudo box, bring it over here. And what we'll do is we'll resize that. Um, where are we? We'll rescale the box in the X and the Z directions to make a flat plate. Maybe give it a little bit of a colour to match the background. Okay, and now let's rotate this. Okay, and we can now ask our dwarf to walk up here. And you'll see that he climbs up and then drops down the far side. So this is a way of getting the, uh, the animated characters to interact with the environment. Um, and you'll see if I now ask these two to walk together, the collision detection will actually stop them running into each other. So I think there's plenty for you to play with there. And obviously, this is just an experimentation platform, but you can use the various classes that compose it in your own applications, if you wish. Uh, thank you for listening and watching, and uh, I may update some of these videos a bit later.